The change is law of life. The change is inevitable to respond to the fast-moving business and external factors. Local and global economies are integrating, technological advancement is at its fast pace. Hence, workplace process, strategies, systems, objectives, must continuously change for an organization to remain competitive. Change affects the entire organization but seriously its employees who can express their emotions, satisfaction and dissatisfaction. Responding to employees need, and reaction for smooth transition is need of the hour. Good morning. Today, I am talking about the change management. As change is inevitable, the only solution is to see that employees are guided through the change journey which will be beneficial both for employees, and the business. Business success is not based on its ability to simply change, but it is based on your ability to change faster than your competitors, customers, and other stakeholders. As a manager, there are six key steps to effective change management process. The first one is, clearly define the change, and align it to business mission, and vision. At this stage, people who are involved in the change management, must conduct a critical review, against organizational mission, vision, objectives to ensure that, the change will carry the business in the right direction strategically, financially, and ethically. This step can also assist you to determine the value of the change, which will quantify the effort, and inputs you should invest. The second step is, to determine its impact and people who will be affected. Once you have defined exactly what you wish to achieve and why, you should then determine the impacts of the change at various organizational levels. Review the effect on each business unit, employees and other stakeholders. This information will start to form the blueprint for where training and support is needed the most to minimize the impact. The third one is, develop a communication strategy. Although all employees should be taken on the change journey, the first two steps will have highlighted those employees you absolutely must communicate the change to. Determine the most effective means of communication for the group or individual that will bring them on board. The communication strategy should include a timeline for how the change will be incrementally communicated, key messages, and the communication channels and mediums you plan to use. The fourth step is provide effective training. Once the change message out in the organization, it's important that employees know they will receive training, formal or informal to learn the skills and knowledge required to operate efficiently as the change is implemented. The management can plan for on-the-job or off-the-job training to help employees who are affected by this change decision. The fifth step is Implement a support system. Providing the support system is essential to assist employees to adjust themselves to the change, and build proficiency needed to achieve desired results. Some changes can result in redundancies. The management should offer financial or moral support to those affected. The final step is, measure the impact of change process. Throughout the change management process, a structure should be put in place to measure the business impact of the changes, and ensure that continued reinforcement opportunities exist to build proficiencies. The management should also evaluate the change management plan to determine its effectiveness and document any lessons learned. In conclusion, as John F. Kennedy said, change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. The leaders of global business should consider change requirement in advance and identify potential problems and possible solutions to be competitive. Thank you, and happy learning.